So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and today I have something very special for you all. This is the world's first level 1000 or prestige level 1000 zombies account on Xbox One. This account is not actually mine, it's actually Cage Reventon who also goes by the name of Cage G Boss. I have a link down below to his Twitter where you can find his Twitter account. But he's very kindly allowed me to borrow his account to show you what it's like to have an account which gets to level Level 1000 on zombies you can see exactly what you unlock and how ridiculous this account is it's so so awesome so here we have Cage Renton here. Interesting emblem, but as you can see, when you get all of the master calling card challenges done, you unlock this incredible calling card, which is of all the characters from the Origins poster, which I'll show you now. Currently, there's a bit of a weird glitch with this calling card, so if I changed it to another calling card, for some reason, we won't be able to get that calling card back. Like, it's supposed to appear in the master section, but it's not there at all, which is a bit weird. Like we've got all of the zombie stuff completed here, but for some reason it's not there as an option now. But he was able to uh, put this as an option for his calling card. But as you can see, it looks amazing. But one of the big things w that you get with um, ranking up in Zombies Pass Prestige Master is that every certain level... You'll get a different prestige icon which you can now use and that's a little bit of a spoiler of one of those icons that he's currently got on right there which is the teddy bear. So if we go over we can go and find all the prestige rank emblems that we can choose. So here he is. This is the global career snapshot of his account right now. He's prestige master level 1000. He has 921,000 kills on this account. It is incredible. You can just see the amount of kills he's gotten with each weapon. How he's gotten 144,000 kills with the Vespa is beyond me. But this is his most used weapons. And you can just see the amount of kills here. Now, this took 18 days of real time to get this in-game. It's absolutely incredible. I'm sure he used some double XP weekends to his advantage here. But we have, oh my goodness, I've not even seen this. His highest round on Shadows of Evil is 159. His highest on the Giant is 102. And highest on Dryzen Drac is 43. He's putting me to shame on these two. This is insane. This is really, really cool. And most use Gobble Gums. For someone that's level 1000, he's not actually used a lot of Gobble Gums, which is interesting. But Alchemical is, of course, the most interesting one to use. But now, we need to go and look at the uh, stuff here. So, we have we can customise our prestige icon here. So, we're going to go all the way from the start... And then we'll go look in. So these are all the icons that you get for the normal prestige rank so far. At the moment, I'm only prestige 8. This guy's prestige level 1000. So massive kudos to him. But these are all the ranks. And once you get to prestige master, that is the default one which you get. And then as you rank up, I believe it's in the set of like 10s. And then it goes into the 100s is when you unlock all these. So we have the corrupted icon, which is of the weird Cthulhu from the mystery box. that's called Shadows. We have some weird stuff here. We've got a Watcher icon. We've got Teddy Fulu, which I think is really, really creepy. I like that one a lot. We've got the Summoning Key as well. And then we have like a bunch of power-ups which you can have as your uh, prestige emblem, such as Double Points, Fire Sail, Insta-Kill, Death Machine. Then we've got a ton of these alternate ammos like Blast Furnace. And you don't really see these icons properly. I feel like these are slightly changed from what they actually appear in game. So Blast Furnace, that one looks sick. We've got Dead Wire, of course. We've got Fireworks. We've got Thunderwall. And we've got Turned, which these all look so cool. Then you can have Mega Gumballs, so these are just the different kind of like variations of colours you can get. The Chalk one's quite cool. Then we have Symbol Monkey. That is sweet, I like that one. Now this is a really cool one, Artifacts. These are all under Artifacts, and this is the Please Wait that you get in the Pack-A-Punch. When you're Pack-A-Punching something, you have the little flag pop up saying Please Wait. Got Liquid Divinium, then we've got a few perks. Now we've got the main like kind of basic perks that we've always had, and a few new ones that were added fairly soon after, like Black Ops 1, but we haven't got all of them. We've got Deadshot. Oh, actually, we do, my bad. Mule Kick, Widow's Wine, Electric Cherry. Then we've got some more rare mega kind of swirly icons, which are cool. Then we've got these glimpses, which I think are like Apophagan language, which is sweet. We've got this one, which is simply called Apophagan. We've got Command. We've got Curse, which is the actual curse symbol. End, Servant. And then we've got more of the uh, original perks here, Juggernaut, Speed Cola, Double Tap. Some of these look ever so slightly different, but we've never seen like a nice high quality version of all these before. So this is really cool. And Stamina Up's there for some reason, which is, you know, we like Stamina Up. The Rising Drax maybe really appreciate Stamina Up. Got the ultra rare mega colours here. 
And then the last one there is called Under Relics, which is just the teddy, which is amazing. And it's crazy. So it says here about Prestige Master, you can have completed all Prestige levels for zombies. And then right here, we have the fresh start option. Completely reset all progress and start from level one as though you've never played zombies. I think if I'd done that, it would actually be some sort of illegal action to do because... How could you do that to someone's account? That that would just be absolutely cruel. But this is what it looks like to be level 1000 in Zombies. This is one of the first legit accounts I've ever seen of a legit rank prestige level 1000 in Zombies. It is amazing. And it is worth grinding all those levels because you do unlock these really cool emblems. Uh, and, uh, my favourite is probably the Teddy Fulu one. Or maybe the Please Wait. They're, they're all just so awesome. But that calling card as well. Man, that is a fantastic calling card. I doubt Triarch will ever add any more levels after that because I don't think they've even expected people to hit level 1000 so soon. But if you do grind it past Prestige Master, you will make those levels very, very quickly. And we are on level 1000 here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop it a like rating and share it around with you with your friends. And make sure to check out Cage Reventon down below in the description. Just send him a tweet saying GG man on being the world's first level 1000 on Xbox One. It is a fantastic achievement and something which hopefully I will be able to achieve myself. But it's going to take a long time. Maybe around about 18 days of game time completely. But thank you for watching guys. And I'll catch you on another one very, very soon.